Improving the relationship between Dayton police and the community. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Katie Houston. And I'm Mark Allen. Tomorrow, Dayton City leaders will unveil a plan to open lines of communication and build trust between police and the people they protect and serve. Megan O'Rourke is live to tell us how they plan to make that happen. It's our top story. Megan. Mark, the action plan has been in the works for about a year now. City leaders say over the past several months they've received thousands of comments and suggestions. All of that information was compiled and now they say they have a blueprint to building a better partnership. There's no hiding the fact that the relationship between the Dayton Police Department and the community has been strained. But last summer, after Kylan English, who was under arrest, broke out of the back of a cruiser and jumped off the Salem Avenue bridge to his death, tension boiled over. Dayton City Commissioner Joey Williams says that incident highlighted the issue. There's been some others since that time um, and around that time that let us know that this is something that we should take very serious and other communities throughout the country have dealt with the same issue and it seems to me that those communities that took the issue serious have made improvements and their communities are better off for it. Following the lead of some of those other communities, William spearheaded the effort to launch a community police council. Teach residents how to improve safety in their own communities. Um, diversity training for police. And for the last several months, there have been town halls and other group sessions where the community weighed in. So many things have happened in the past with the police department and some of the citizens and you know back in the past and some of the people are, are just not trusting the police anymore. Some people think that there are crooked cops because I mean they've seen it and I've heard about it. On Friday it didn't take long to find folks who think the relationship between cops and the community needs some attention but we also learned with some work there's hope it can be healed. If people keep working on it it can be fixed but if they don't like in spurts it's not going to be fixed. It has, it has to be a continuous thing. William says they're making strides, and with the help of researchers at Wright State, they have a plan in place, and already things are getting better. I can already see some definite improvements just because we're having a conversation. I've had people come up to me and say they're pleased that we're not putting our heads in the sand like an ostrich, but we're actually acknowledging the fact that this is a relationship that we want to see get better. Now the outline will be unveiled tomorrow at the Dayton Convention Center at 11 a.m. If you would like to attend, you need to register. We've put a web link on WDTN.com. Reporting live, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News.